new Nissan Z in SMO is not radically different from the base Nissan Z, but it's way better when it comes to driving on the racetrack. It has many small aerodynamic improvements, you need to really focus to see them and the power also got some refinements, but the only thing that would give away the capabilities of this car is the special color and the red accent. If you paint both the base Z and Z in SMO the same color, it would be very hard to tell them apart. But take them to the track and the Z Nesmo would eat the Z for breakfast. The Z Nesmo has few aerodynamic improvements that will help it to enter the corners much faster. The mesh on the front grille is thinner, which allows more air for cooling and helps alongside with the canards on the corners and side sails to reduce drag and lift. In corners, the car needs more traction. That's where the new taller and wider rear spoiler comes in. It's split in three pieces that extends to the rear fenders. Now, apart from the aerodynamic elements, the front end has a longer nose. They call it G-Nose, inspired from the Nissan Fairlady 240ZG. The car will be available with many special colors. The one you're looking at is called Stealthy Gray. This color and the red accent around the lower edge of the car are Nesmo exclusive design touches and of course the car has to have better wheels. Those are 19 inch ray super lightweight aluminum alloy wheels. The interior of course has to make you feel this is a Nesmo. Red is all over the place, the buttons, the middle of the leather and Alcantara seats, the driver display, all of them are red. And we don't need to talk about the badges. Okay, the Nesmo badge is not just about the look, it is the performance that matters the most. The engine can produce more power now compared to the base model. Through some heat management and a better ignition timing, the power is enhanced by 20 horsepower and 34 pound foot of torque, which is 420 horsepower and 384 pound foot of torque now. The 9 speed automatic transmission is improved for the track, with faster shifting controlled automatically in the new Sports Plus mode. But if you can shift better than a program, then you can use the manual shift panels. Now all this fast shifting and cornering causes a lot of pressure on the body. That's why there are front and rear underfloor bracing, stiffer front and rear suspension bushings and a stiffer mounting bushings for the steering rack. Brakes are also improved by larger discs and better braking pads. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.